Now it's my pleasure to uh, turn our attention to the recipient of this year's uh, Ralph, Ralph T. Gould um, Award for Outstanding Citizenship. And this year I'm thrilled to announce that it goes to John Mitchell. Um, and we will do a little ceremony down at the podium. John, do you, do you want to join us? Does he join us over there? And Deb, will you come? Because we can... be helpful. I just thought it would be nice to hear all the past recipients of the award because they're all, it's a very impressive list um, that John is now joining, so I asked Deb to read it. Great. It is my honor to read these names and the award began in 1986. Ralph T. Gould, George W. Bill Orchid, Judith C. Simons, E. Irving Chapel, Richard B. O'Donnell, Henry C. Adams, Loretta A. Pond, Dr. Peter W. and Alice H. Rand, John J. Sibley, Wendy Derzewick and Ellen Van Fleet, William H. Jordan Sr., Leland P. Murray Jr., Nancy Masterton, Gilbert S. Jordan, Evelyn M. and James F. Cox, Charles F. Wilson, Nancy H. Miles, Carolyn M. Fritz, Michael T. Ott, and Ann Swift Kayata. Thank you very much. So before we uh, present John with his plaque, um, I just had a few words to say about him, brag about him. Um, John is a very, ta most of you will know some of this, but John's a very talented landscape architect. Um, and I, I say the word landscape in the broadest sense, as he really does re-envision scapes of all kinds. Um, Parks, pathways, schools, open space, wetlands, town centers, homes, developments, you name it, John has had a hand in it. Um, he's infused the character of uh, so many places in Cape Elizabeth and made them more beautiful and more usable um, and more uh, integrated in a way into what their natural place should be. He has a, a touch for, for uh, preserving the natural landscape and yet making it more uh, able to be used by people. Um, it was John's brilliance, uh, working in collaboration with a few other people, that they reconfigured the entrance to the fort that we know it today, where the road comes in next to the cliff and you see that beautiful green field and then you get that jaw-dropping view of the ocean and the ship channel and then the lighthouse. Um, so John was one of the masters behind that. Um, he was a successful bidder to prepare the first illustrations for the town center design in 1995 um, that is now being used in South Portland in Ferry Village and also its Capes AB district um, that we are gradually reconfiguring. Um, John served for 11 years on the very beginning of the land trust uh, committee. He was the stewardship chair and helped to acquire some of the very first land that the, that the land trust we know as South now um, has been so successful. And, um, you know, whenever John works on a town project, he puts in so many hours because he's so um, dedicated and passionate. And he doesn't ever bill us for all of them. Um, and he doesn't really tell us how many extra hours he's put in. And we never ask because we kind of figure with all these beautiful grandchildren he has, I think there's seven and counting, that he's going to come knocking on our door someday to collect when he has to fork over for all those college tuitions and lavish weddings that we know he's going to provide for them. So we just want it to be your own secret how many pro bono hours you've given us. Um, John prepared the concept plan for the Shore Road Path in 2009. Um, walking it many, many, many times, so he's probably memorized it. Um, and then, of course, when it came around again finally last year, or two years ago, I guess they started designing it, he again designed and redesigned, I don't know how many times, until he made the Shore Road Pathway Committee um, happy. So we really owe the pathway uh, to him. He's also a member of the Arboretum Committee and has done uh, work with them. Thank you. And he continues to assist in almost every way he can in preserving and beautifying Fort Williams. Um, John's a respected and very thoughtful, um, John's respected and thoughtful in his high, high quality work. Uh, there's a list of projects uh, so long that I, I started to write them all down and name them, but I realized I'd take 10 minutes. So 
believe me when I say that um, he's, he's escorted many, many projects from dream to completion. Um, and the projects, I was struck by how um, broad they are in just nature. There was so, it's not like he only does one thing. He's worked on virtually any, anything you could possibly imagine in terms of a, a space that people would be in. So um, he's just an impressive person. He's given so much to the town of Cape Elizabeth and just so many um, ways. Um, always is here for planning board meetings. He's always patient. He's gracious. He's, he'll answer questions. I know I must have called him five times on the Shoreboard Pathway. Probably every other counselor did too. And always just uh, kind. Um, and if this weren't enough, um, as we all know, he's surrounded by a lot of gorgeous and brainy and athletic women who keep him much younger than his years. Um, in the words of his daughter, Andy, quote, my dad has a lot of passions, family, especially his grandchildren, uh, sailing, golfing, traveling, sports. He always tries to fit it all in. When we were young, his days were long with planning board and council meetings all around the state and running long into the night. Dad always had a vision to see things the way they could be while preserving the character of the land. He's proud of Cape Elizabeth and the way they've approached projects over the years, and he was happy to be part of it all. So it's my great honor to award this year's Ralph Gould for excellent, outstanding citizenship. John. First of all, I want to say that it's so nice to stand up here now and not have to present a, a, another <laughs> controversial project. Um, but uh, seriously, this is, uh, this is very humbling uh, to stand here and receive this award, uh, the Ralph T. Gold Award. Uh, Sue and I have, uh, we've always felt fortunate uh, when we moved to Maine and settled in Cape Elizabeth um, we've always felt fortunate that we settled here and, and raised our family. Uh, it truly is a, a very special community. Um, it's been a privilege to be part of uh, so many of the community projects and, and to serve on committees um, that I've been involved with over the years, both professionally and as a volunteer. Um, I first want to thank all of the great people that I've worked with and served with. Uh, over the years, um, these are uh, these are very dedicated citizens and committee members and board members and, and town employees that have uh, uh, that have really helped to uh, change the character or, or to make Cape Elizabeth what it is. Um, and thank you for allowing me to um, to be part of that uh, part of that process. Um, thank you, councillors. Um, this is uh, truly an honor to receive this award, and uh, it means an awful lot to me. Thank you. And then finally, a big thank you to my family, um, who are all, I think they're all here tonight. <laughs> None of them skipped out. Um, uh, and, uh, and I'm very happy uh, that you all made it, uh, some from far away. And especially to my wife, Sue, who has always supported me uh, in, in along the way. So thank you very much. I appreciate it.